hi okay you guys so i just started a patron i'm so scared <laughs> i'm so scared that i won't make good enough stuff for you guys or i'm saying you guys but i probably don't have any followers yet and it probably will take like a really long time before i have some but still i find it so scary so exciting and just i just need to figure something out and for those of you that have seen my patreon you know that the highest tier is simba's royal colors and as you may hear in the background he wants me to give him some attention he wants to go inside and outside all the time so we need to let him out let's go to eat and <laughs> and that's bianca and over here is gizmo hey gizmo yeah, that bianca. and the weather out here is amazing it's been so cold for so long but finally spring has decided to stay yeah i actually just thought that i would make make um, a video to share like a like a sort of a, a vlog where you can get to know me a little bit better how i make my art what i do during the day and maybe talk a little bit about my life situation because currently um, I'm unemployed because I have a lot of health issues that I need to figure out. Yeah, I actually got a doctor's appointment next week, which I'm really, really not looking forward to because it's one of those scary ones. And I really don't want to do it, but I have to do it. So hopefully I survive so I can like give you guys newsletters and stuff. Who knows? So I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos, eating my breakfast, and then I, I have to clean up a little bit before I start working on some drawings and some patron work, of course. Six. That's the good stuff, man. This is the good, good stuff. I'm actually gonna grab Berserker Dudes here. Expecting my damage right now. Staying. Oh, hello. Maybe. Holy shit. Fantastic. I can actually keep on killing this silence because he has zero armor. So I can actually run up top again real fast right now. Because Yogi's actually gives me a ton of out of combat moves if you did not know that. Uh, so I can use that to get top really fast. Really, really fast. I'm not gonna sit there and take all the means because he was pretty pissed at me last time I did it. Just gonna help him push it though. Ooh. So I need a break or I need to sit down though because I'm just exhausted. That's like a normal thing for me, but I'm really not good at not pushing myself too much. I always overdo it so i was thinking about sitting down on the couch and not doing anything but at the same time i want to do something so i decided that if you guys see here here's like my drawing corner if i want to do like traditional art and the cat toy um but I don't have my drawing stuff here, so I actually want to make this like a super cozy corner uh, where I can do uh, everything art related stuff. I was thinking this table here, we don't really use it for anything. 
So I'm considering putting all my drawing stuff here. Since it's not like the best thing to put drawing stuff on, I'm gonna take something that I have in my room. I'm gonna go grab it. Okay, so here it is. It's, it's just this standard IKEA stuff that I see a lot of other artists are using. And when it's in my bedroom, it's just getting used to be filled up with clothes anyway. So I'm gonna get all my drawing stuff sorted into this one. I always struggle finding my pencils because everything disappeared in a couch. The remote control is gone, the drawing stuff is gone, the dogs want to go out but they gotta wait a little bit more. Yeah. So let's start Gizmo and I'll bring you guys along so you get to see all my or I don't have very much drawing equipment but I got some. my current sketching book and <laughs> uh, this is actually my first sketching book which I started probably like a year ago I'm really bad at using it I used a lot of other stuff like papers and other sketchbooks too but this is like my main one and I think it's funny to look back on how I drew when I started a year ago uh, because I used to draw when I was li little, but then I just stopped when I was like a teenager. Um, but I decided to get back into it now that I got the time to do it. And I find it really funny. So if you guys want to see uh, a sketchbook tour, I think I will give you one. Even though the drawings in here are... they're just terrible. Many of them at least. So this one is going into the bottom here where I can get it easily. And then the second thing that I had, I got a lot of these cheap macro pens. It's just like a fake. Yeah, it's not a real macro pen and I would definitely like don't buy these. They are so bad. I Luckily I got some real ones as well, but I need to buy new ones because they're starting to go empty on me. And I also bought these cheap Touch 5 markers and they're not really good. They made marks and maybe I'll do like a show off of them. And then I also got some Pro markers and brush pens, but they're not too many. Um, so I need to buy more because I find it really fun to to use markers. And of course I got the gel roll pens. But I find it so easy to have everything in this, this one. And then I have like this paper with all the colors on. So I got all that I need. And this one is one of my favorite stuff. It's so easy to get out of everywhere and I got everything that I need for my traditional sketches. They got like coal and I haven't even tested everything out so maybe I'll do that in a video as well. I never use coal, I usually just use the pencils. Um, and then it's got like a place where you can put extra stuff down here. And I also taken my favorite pencils and put in a pencil case that I'm gonna show you guys. So I got like everything that I normally use in that pencil case. I'll put my um, Winsor & Newton uh, painting, watercolor painting. Oh, it's so hard to open. With these colors in. So I'll put that, that in there as well because this is gonna lay high up so it's easy to get access to. And I use that quite often. This one is a pouch that I got from a girl called Ellen. I'll link her descriptions down below. Um, I won it in a giveaway and she makes amazing art. She's from Norway as well. And she also got CFS uh, and ME. So she's like a role model to me, how to make everything work with art while being sick. So definitely go check her out. 
I also got a lot of other stuff from her. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I got this original she did. I mean, look at that, it's so nice. Like she sent so much, you guys. She sent a lot of stickers. I mean, look at those, they're so pretty. I want them, or I have them, but I really don't know what, what to do with them. Like where to put them, because I think they're so nice. And when I get stuff like this, I find it so hard to use. Because I just don't want to destroy them, sort of. I really like this cat, it's so funny. And so cute at the same time. And some uh, magnets. This one I'm actually gonna put on my fridge right away, so you guys get to see it. I'm also gonna make some stickers myself because I got so inspired. And I have some drawings that I'm gonna send in to... Um, I think I'm gonna try to use sticker app. Have any of you guys used them before? Ellen, I asked her and she said that she loved the sticker app and that it's really good and that's where she gets hers. And it looks like they're good quality, so I definitely want to try them out. So I have this um, sandpaper that I use for my, um, what are these called? It's like this smudge thingy. I don't know what you call them. I got my pencils. I use different types of pencils, and but mainly I use this for sketching actually. I got uh, one micron in case I want to, to do some line work. And then I got this makeup brush. <laughs> for blending as well one kneaded eraser I gotta have this everywhere, I'm like addicted to it and all, also this thing it's just um, like a cardboard from a pizza yeah, from a pizza box that I've put like tin foil around and I use it when I take pictures of my art just to like make the lighting a bit better so I'll just put that in here as well and then this one will go on top since that's the one I use the most so in the top shelf I just put that there, there because I don't know where to put it uh, I'm just like while I'm cleaning I just got it here and this one can stand here because it's a window right next to over there so it gets enough sunlight here's the pouch that I'm gonna use uh, mainly and then I also can put like my iPad and stuff here here's the tin foil and the box with like unopened stuff and my painting. I also got another painting supply over the table that I've just used, so I'll put that there as well. And here at the bottom, I got my sketchbook, easy access, the um, giveaway letter, my pencil, no, my, my markers the pencil case that I never use and the stuff for <laughs> did you like it? did you like it? huh? yeah you did yeah and then the uh, go. <laughs> the thing for the <laughs> bullet journal bullet journal that was the word I was looking for Yes. Oops. Not used to not, not being a carpet over there. Uh, so now I'll just put that in the corner and move the other table. But I think I'm gonna wait until my boyfriend comes home so he can help me carry the other table. And I'll just relax a little bit before I try cleaning some more. Okay, so I just did this sketch. It's based off this picture that I took. <laughs> um, and this one. 
combined together. Um, I'm not really happy with the proportions, like the legs seem too big and the head too small. And the face is also a bit weird, but it's just a really rough quick sketch to practice. And I'll take it into Procreate where I'll work over it to hopefully <laughs> make some good art out of it. I've also posted my first post on Patreon. So go check that out if you want to. You guys saw in my vlog earlier today that I was cleaning. But guess what? This girl got exhausted halfway through. At least I got in in the carpet or my boyfriend did. My fiance. My fiance brought in the carpet and fixed the worst of it. And yeah. I just went to sleep for a little bit uh, to get some energy back and then I walked with him like around the block with the dogs. Made dinner, watched two episodes of Game of Thrones and now started watching a series called The Act. I've seen so many commercials of it on YouTube so I just had to see it and it's amazing. I can't believe this shit is real. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for today. I'm gonna start drawing on this drawing in Procreate and go to sleep. Finish it in the morning, it's actually 11.30 p.m. So I better get to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this little late vlog. Didn't happen much. And if you got any ideas or if you want to see any types of videos, just let me know and just let me know down in the comments and I will make that video for you guys because I need ideas. Yeah, I do. Mm. Yeah. Good night.